Hi Ben. Hi Manfred. Hi Thomas. How are you? I'm very glad you joined me today for this mindful session to start the Horizons Asia Meeting 2020. I'm very honored to be here tonight. If you have any experience with meditation before, please let me know and share your experience with me. And I will start just in one minute. And also, if you have question, feel free to leave a comment, and I will reply in the end of the session. So today, the mindful leadership session will be composed of thirty minutes, three parts. And number one, I will introduce why it is important to be a mindful leader in the pandemic in such a turbulent time. And second, I will tell you why it is important to practice breathing. Breathing. Why it is important to、uh, a mindful lifestyle for a mindful leader. And the last step, I will guide you to practice mindful breathing with me. And lastly, if you have questions. I would be more than happy to answer. And so let's start. Right now it is 6 p.m. at Atlanta in the United States. I know all the leaders here are from all over the world, especially from Asia.、Uh, it is very early right now. You can call me May. I'm the founder of Cosmic Citizens, one of the largest women empowerment platforms in China. And also at the same time, I am a meditation student and a teacher at the same time for over six years. I'm very honored to be here today to share with you my thoughts on mindful leadership and guide you the mindful breathing that has changed my own life and hundreds of leaders' lives. And so this is the first time Horasis has allowed a meditation teacher to start the conference in 15 years, because I believe that the traditional way of leadership is not enough. In such a turbulent change of time, and we all need to practice mindfulness as a leader, or as a follower, or as someone who is visioned towards the future. And before we start, I really would like to explain why it is important to be a mindful leader. And please feel free to share your thoughts with me. And I'm very honored to be part of the Horizons community, and my brand, Cosmic Citizen, is also a co-organizer. So it would always be good to learn from all of you. Now, think: if you want to change the world, you can try to change yourself first. We are leaders, right? But if you want to change yourself, try to change your mind first. Now, you're trying to change your mind, and finally, you realize it is not that easy. Giving up the morning coffee, trying to think positively in down moments, and or perhaps just try to stop that sabotage thoughts, or even stop thinking of a rumor about you from your team you heard from nowhere, or stop thinking of your ex. So why it is so hard to change the mind of thyself? So now you know how hard it is to change yourself. Not to mention to change others, to lead others. So、as vision global leaders, we are all here. We realize that change is the only thing that does not change. How can leaders lead well in such a turbulent time of changes? If you want to lead others, think and pause. You need to lead yourself first. And if you want to lead yourself first, you need to learn to lead your mind first. This is why we start the Horizons Asia Meeting 2020 with mindful breathing in 15 years for the first time, and I'm very honored to be here to share with you to be on this journey with you. So the mind is actually the reality. When you are aware of thyself, it is the first step to be a mindful leader, and the science has proven that meditation is probably the most effective way to learn self-awareness. Without self-awareness, there is no mindful or abundant in leadership style. So today, I would like to give you a roadmap to a mindful leader. You start with self-awareness. You start with self-observation, and it all starts with meditation. And meditation starts with breathing. Before we go to second step, why breathing is so important, I want to leave you a question here. Ask yourself: Do you think you are a mindful leader, and what makes you a mindful leader? If not, how will you change yourself to become more mindful? 
in your leadership. Now let's go to the second step. Why breathing is so important? Have you ever thought about it? It is so important to us that we cannot live without it. But it's so important that we almost ignore it. Breathing is the most important thing that you do. It makes sense to focus on breathing more efficiently as your first step to live, to grow, and to lead. Breathing is key to your ability to become more mindful, abundant, and magnificent. So, if you look at the way the lungs are shaped in the body, they're like triangles. They're bigger on the bottom and small on the top. So, you were designed in a very specific way to get the optimal amount of oxygen into your system every time you breathe. So, your lungs do not have muscles. You might not know. They're operated by a big muscle at the bottom of your lungs called your diaphragm. That diaphragm does two things only. Every minute for your entire life, it pulls down, it pushes up. And this mo- movement does several things for you. As your diaphragm pulls down, it creates a vacuum in your lung which pulls air in. As it pushes up, it creates pressure in your lungs which pushes carbon dioxide. Use air, use air that has had all the energy taken out of it out. This is the inhale and exhale process that all the mammals and reptiles do. Human, we do that all the time. So inside your lungs, you have little bags called alveoli. When the air comes in, the sacs grab the oxygen molecules and take them into your bloodstream. From there, they go to your cells, which will turn them into energy. Your lungs are bigger at the bottom. The bottom occupies about 50% of the oxygen capacity of your whole lung. This is where the biggest concentration of the alveoli is. So when does your brain have the most imagination and fertility? When is it that your body is healing and repairing itself? When you are at sleep. So during this time, your brain is at the most of fer- Uh, photo and your imagination is the most expensive. So we all had a fantastic, beautiful dreams where we could fly and do all kinds of creative things that would normally never think about in reality. One reason for this and is because our ability to hear ourselves during that sleeping time. It is because when we lie down, we automatically breathe using our diaphragm the right way it was designed. This means we're automatically giving ourselves more oxygen. Breathing is essential to ourselves, to our life, to our leadership, to our abundance. Now, we have understand mindfulness is important for everyone, more for a leader and meditation. Breathing is more important for you to achieve that status of mindfulness. Now, let's start, shall we? And let's go through the audience. If you have any question, please share with me or you have any experience with meditation, I'm more than happy to discuss with you. If you are all ready, I would like to invite you to join me for this precious opportunity to practice mindful breathing for global leaders. I think we have more than 18 audience right now. And if you have any question, feel free to let me know. And if you're all ready, Are we ready to start? Let me check the comments for a while. All right, so no questions. Okay. And any of you experienced meditation before or practice before? It is brand new to you? It, I just imagine all of you are new in mindful breathing. I treat you as my first day learning meditation for the first time six years ago. and. Trust me, meditation has changed my life. I've become more um, present, calm, happy, present, and more mindful in my leadership in my life. I've created a lot of miracles in my life and with my community and my team, my students. So bear with me. We're going to start now. And thank you for the 19 participants in our session. I'm very grateful. Now, so let's get started. If you join me from your living room, um, I might invite you to invite your friends, your family to join you. If you want to do it yourself, uh, I would suggest you to uh, find find a quiet place in your bedroom or in your study or in your office. And you can sit 
in a nice chair, comfortable, but not a sofa. So your spine is straight. When your spine is straight, you are alert. I want you to be alert in the beginning so you can absorb more. When you are ready with your position, you sit straight, you're mindful with the presence, and you are relaxed. You don't know nothing about meditation, even better. We start from zero. You will learn faster. And now, if you're ready with this session of mindful breathing, I would invite you gently to close your eyes. Ready? When you close your eyes, I would invite you to gently breathe in through your nose and gently breathe out through your mouth. When you breathe in, let it stay and rest for longer as you can. And when you breathe out, breathe out as long as you can. While you practice this, you will feel the energy coming in into your body. You will feel more relaxed, more present, more calm. You might never lose your temper again. Trust me. Okay, let's do it again. Second time, breathe in through our nose. When you breathe in through your nose, you let oxygen come through your nose, go to your brain, and just let it grow. You build an energy of field around you, and then you breathe out through your mouth. Now, I bet you are relaxed. You can either have this position, lie down on your laps, or you can just do this or just relax. Whatever works for you. Now let's do it on the third time. Breathe in through your nose. We count to one, three, one, two, three, four, five. And we breathe out through our mouth. We count to five, four, three, two, one. Now, you have experienced the basic of breathing. When you realize that breathing is so peaceful, it's so relaxed, you will start to love it. Because mindful breathing, it is so important that we almost ignore it on a daily basis. Without breathing, our life does not exist. So when you continue to practice this mindful breathing, I will guide you through three phases. The first phase, we start with gratitude breathing. When you continue to breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth, I would like to invite you to create a screen in your brain. When you breathe, you would think of that one person you're grateful for right now. I will invite you to join me, breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. When you are breathe in and breathe out, you will have a natural image appear in the screen in your brain. Who is that person you're grateful for? What has she or he done for you to change your life? Why are you grateful for this person? And let's do another time. Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your mouth. At this time, I would gently invite you to express your gratitude to this person. Say it out loud in your brain. Or express yourself verbally. You can say, I'm very grateful for your unconditional love, mom. I'm very grateful for you, my dear mentor. I'm so grateful for you, my dear son, for showing me a new perspective of life. Whatever that has changed your life, express that gratitude. And I would like to explain to you why gratitude is so important. When you express gratitude, it means you are receiving. We express gratitude when we receive something. 
That means you already live in abundance. Most of the time, especially as global leaders, you're worried about future, about the team, about the organization. That's the time we are living in lacking. But I would like to suggest you to live in abundance in this moment, in presence. If you have experienced this abundance. Brought by this gratitude meditation, I would like to invite you to slow down. Let's breathe in through our nose. Count to five, four, three, two, one, and hold that breath. Hold it until the energy expands to your body, and your body feels energized. And now I will invite you to. Breathe out through your mouth. I will invite you to count: five, four, three, two, one, zero. And if you can go longer, keep the breathing out as long as you can. This is the first phase. How do you feel? If you express your gratitude in your mind, in your heart, in your brain, your body is energized, is filled with abundance and presence, gratitude and mindfulness. This we lay a foundation for our next step. The next step is gratitude. When you have laid this beautiful foundation of gratitude. You will learn that you don't need A, B, C to feel happy. You can create happy from within. And now, let's go to the second phase. And all the time, I would like to invite you close your eyes. With eyes closed, embrace the imagination. Embrace breathing, like we never know we can breathe. We enjoy it so much. Now the second step, we have laid a beautiful foundation for breathing, for life, for leadership, for a team, for our organization. I would like to invite you to set a goal for your twenty twenty, for your twenty twenty one, for your team, for your organization. Let's start with one first. So when you set a goal. Remember, you have a screen in your brain. Appear, something will appear in that screen. Your number one goal. If you have that goal in that screen, embrace it. If it's a picture, turn it into a video. If it's a video, turn it into a film. If it's a film, make your own. You are the one hundred percent responsible CEO, not only for your team, for your company. But for your life, most importantly. So when you are in this goal-setting meditation, I would like to invite you to think the first step you're going to take to finish to get to that goal. What is the first step? For example, you want to enter China market. The first step is. Probably you need to decide which city you will start with, or the first person you want to hire, etc., etc. Write it down in a screen on your brain. That's the first step. And now, second step, I would like to invite you to think you already achieved that goal. When you have that goal, how do you feel? When you achieve everything in your life, how do you feel? When you have achieved all your goals, how do you feel? You feel happy, successful, abundant, joyful, inspired. All the emotions you have, embrace it in your body. Feel it like you already achieved that goal by the end of twenty twenty or by the end of twenty twenty one. The third step, very important. When you achieve that goal, now imagine first step: you are sitting in a rock chair when you are eighty years old. 
and of course, in our generation, we might live to 130 years, 150 years. What age you want to be? Write it down in your screen and think. What is one step you take today to make your life that abundant, that mindful, that beautiful, that valuable? What is the one step you take this year to make your entire life beautiful than ever? These are the three steps for you to create abundant life with goal setting. It's the second mindful meditation we do today. I would invite you to continue to close your eyes and go to the third meditation we do today. Let's start to refresh our breath. I invite you to breathe through your nose. Five, four, three, two, one. We hold the breath for five seconds and then we breathe out through our mouth. When you breathe out, you feel the energy fills all your body. You've never felt so relaxed. All the problems is solved in your subconsciousness. Einstein told us, imagination is the only thing that makes human incredible. But most of the time as leaders, even, we use our consciousness instead of subconsciousness. While I'm teaching I invite you to pay attention to your breath. When you are happy, how is your breath? If it's even, when you're angry, how is your breath? If it's not even, correct? So today, I want you to learn one thing. That is, you can learn mindful breathing. You can live a mindful life. You can become a mindful leader. And the last meditation we're going to do together is self-affirmation. Maybe some of you are familiar with self-affirmation. Some of you are not. Doesn't matter. I will explain to you. So self-meditation is the very powerful tool that you can use to have a more powerful attitude. All the self-doubt, sabotage, the negativity, or the hot temper in running a team will all disappear when you have the self-affirmation running in the background of your brain. Imagine you, if you have a team come to you, say something you do not accept. Possibly some leader might yell or lose a temper, but if you have learned self-affirmation, when you want to lose your temper, say something negatively, your self-affirmation run in the background of your brain will come out something nicely with positive attitude, such as you're great, you're wonderful, you're a born leader, you're a mindful leader, you're born to lead and inspire. Most of the time, when we have sabotage or negative thoughts, even as leaders, is because we do not implement program our brain and we absorb absorb all these negativities from media, from news, from rumors, from friends, from family. Now, we've learned the skill of self-affirmation. And among self-affirmation, there are two words are magic words. Have a guess, what are they? Now we have 20 audience, and we're honored to have you here. It is I am. Anything followed after I am becomes truth. For example, if I tell myself I'm ugly, I will feel ugly. I'm from China, actually from a small town. I was born in a small village and lived in a mountain for a few years uh, when my dad was running a factory there. For my family, for the village, my skin is so tanned. I was considered ugly. I feel so bad. I didn't know. Until I tell myself I'm beautiful, I feel beautiful more than ever. So when you have this powerful tool of self-affirmation, you will learn that your life is only in the hand 
of yourself. You're 100% a mindful leader. You're 100% creating a new life. All right. So now we learn the science behind self-affirmation. I would like to guide you to go through this self-affirmation you know, um, breathing session. Let's refresh our breath again in the last meditation we're doing. I would like to invite you to close your eyes, the new audience, and join us. Breathe in through your nose. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it if you can. If you're a stronger leader, you want to always achieve more. You can even do it longer. Double the time. Five, four, three, two, one. When you're ready, breathe out through your mouth. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So when we are refreshed and breathing, how do you feel? You feel refreshed, relaxing, mindful, relaxed, present, more than ever. Isn't that great? It's the magic of breathing. Breathing is the number one thing we need to do as a living human, right? So when we are breathe in and breathe out, I would say the self-affirmation to you and you are repeating with me. Now you're not familiar with that, it is okay. But in the future, if you want, um, get in touch with me here or leave me a message or LinkedIn. Uh, I would like to share the self-affirmation list with you so you can do it by yourself. All right, so this breathe in and breathe out and I will guide you with those self-affirmations. I am a mindful leader. I am born to lead and inspire. I embrace the day with gratitude, abundance, and vision. I seek opportunities and gratitude in everything that comes to my life. I give you a few seconds to digest and let it absorb into your mind and brain and your body and your energy. Let's continue. Today, abundance comes to me. My life is full of blessings. Abundance is around me. I am a mindful leader. I lead mindfully. Everything I say is mindful. I have a mindful attitude. Everything I say, every thought I have, Everything I do, I have a self-awareness. I'm abundant. I'm mindful. I'm present. I am respectful. I'm well respected. I'm loved. I am worthy. I am enough. The last self-affirmation is so important. Most of us, we live in an attitude of lacking. We lack of goals, we lack of a big house, a big, a nice car, success for the company or wealth, or even others' approval. But actually, when we feel the deep abundance from the heart, all the things will come to you automatically. I experience this change in my life. I would like to invite you to embrace this mindful living, mindful leadership lifestyle. Less is more. Slow is fast. If you can remember that and practice that, your goals will be achieved faster, abundance will come to you, and your life will be more present, joyful, relaxed. Now we're approaching the end of our session. I would like to invite you gently open your eyes and put a smile on your face. Look around the environment with loving eyes and go out of your study room, your office, give a hug to your loved ones. 
or even strangers, express your mindful living, your abundant living lifestyle, and live truly as a mindful leader. This is all what we have for the morning session. And when we end the harassment meeting, we will have a closed session. I'm so honored to close our conference with another session of mindful breathing. And there will be new breathing technique shared with you. My name is May. I'm the founder of Cosmic Citizens, one of the largest women empowerment platforms in China. It is my honor to be here today. And I look forward to seeing you in a few hours in the closing session. Feel free to leave your comments and get in touch with me. If you want to have the self-affirmation list, drop me a message. I'm more than happy to share. Sending love to you all from all over the world. Thank you very much.